Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a very exciting video and it's going to be all about what leotard to pick for an audition. This can be for on stage or in class. So I guess let's get into the video. Alright guys, so I'm actually really excited to do this video. Choosing the right leotard is very important for an audition because it's the first impression and it's also an image they're going to remember for when they pick you for to get into the finals or to get into a company school or something like that. So I've got my notes here and I'm just going to give them a nice simple tip order. So let's start off with the colour of the leotard. So this is definitely one of the most important things in my opinion. So of course when you pick a colour leotard, it has to suit your skin tone and complexion and undertones. If you are a very pale person like me, um, I definitely wouldn't uh, wear a white that would wash you out. Something that will make you look more tan and just make you have a little bit more warmth and colour in yourself. Cause I'm um, pale here. <laughs> and if you are on the other spectrum, which is really deep, I would even go for something very light and pale that would make you stand out. Because that is a very important thing, is to stand out in an audition or a class for a competition. You need to stand out, so the colour is so important. So I suggest to go on the internet, look for your skin tone, if you're cool tone, a warm tone or neutral, Find colours that suit your complexion. You want to love the colour of leotard you are wearing. If you're wearing, for example, a colour you hate, then you will probably not dance as well. So definitely pick something that you really like as well. So we've done the colour. Now let's go into your body shape and how to pick the right leotard for you. And also the style. This is very important as sometimes a leotard cannot be right for the type of audition or class you were doing. So style wise for a class audition, I definitely do not suggest something too over the top as you are in a classroom and closer to the people adjudicating you and judging you. You can, if you want to, wear a little bit of sparkle, but personally, in my opinion, it's much better to go more traditional and something a little bit more simple and sophisticated and professional if you are in a class audition. And especially for a school, if you are doing that, something a little bit more minimal. But on the other hand, if you are in a competition, going for it, trying to win something, definitely choose something that stands out, but don't get too carried away and wear something that's too over the top that distracts from your dancing, because that is the worst thing when you are just looking at a leotard that's way too blingy and you're not actually focusing on the dancing because that's a bit distracting and in my opinion, it's not something that makes you go, wow, she looks great. It just makes me go, what am I looking at? I don't know. I just It's my personal opinion. You can go for it if you want, but yeah. But for comps, I do think it's great to just add a little bit more to a leotard and make something a little bit more special. Now, I'm going to try on a few leotards for you and just talk about them, give you some examples. But this example here, I won't try on now, but this is a little comparison here. So these two are both Capizio and they are both grey with lace. Now this first one, in my opinion, I would not wear as it has long sleeves. Now that is a little bit distracting in my opinion. Lots of judges like to see the body and how it works. So this covers up and I wouldn't suggest wearing this. So this other one I have here is perfect in my opinion. It also really flatters the body with the front. But the reason why I think this is better is because it still has the lace but just in a more simplistic way. It still adds a little bit of um, difference to a normal leotard and makes it a little bit more fun and personal but it's not too over the top that it distracts and also hides your body. I find with a lot of competitions, especially auditions in a class, the best things to wear in a styled leotard in my opinion, and also this goes for most people, is to have, as I have now, spaghetti strap as it shows the body and makes the chest feel open. Also to have a really nice low back so the person sees 
your back and I also think that looks really nice with the low back because it shows off it when you are dancing which is my personal fave and also if you can't have a high leg line because it will make your legs appear longer and it will also just flatter your body more I don't suggest wearing a leotard that has um, too many different patterns and cuts and things because that really distracts as well as the sparkles um, but the only type in my opinion for lines and cuts in a leotard is ones that kind of um, go down the body that is in my opinion another really great type of leotard to wear for an audition because it'll really slender your waist and your hips and it just looks really good so those are the styles I think will suit auditions more. So as I'm talking about those, I should also mention what to wear in a leotard that flatters your body. So I will give you a couple of little examples. So if you do have a wide set chest and longer shoulders, I suggest wearing something that will kind of narrow them off a little bit. I do really think wide shoulders are really beautiful in dancing and it makes you look so open. So I guess anything will look all right. Next one, if you have maybe more of a straight rectangular um, body around your waist, wear something that will make you look more curvy. I think that looks great. So for example, I have this black one here and it is maybe a little bit too fancy on the back, but this really does bring the waist in so much. And I'll put a little video over the top of this. As you can see, it really brings in my waist. So if you're really wanting to try and accentuate your waist, I definitely suggest having a leotard that does that. Now, if you have a slightly bigger chest and bust, um, something, of course, that will flatten it. But if you do want to make that slightly more flat, I would suggest, um, for example, something I'm wearing now. It's very open and it really flattens my chest off. I find those one with the V-necks can emphasize your bust more. And even some halter necks I find can. I mean, if you want to have a slightly flatter chest, just find a leotard that makes you look flatter. I guess that's all I can say. It's just... Go find one and try it on and see if it looks better. And then the next one is obviously if you want to have an appearance of longer legs, find a leotard that has a higher cut leg line. I 100% love high leg cut leotards. I wear them all the time and I just hate low leg so much. It really bothers me. So yes, that will also look great in an audition or on stage because it will make you look super long and... I'm sure no one doesn't want to have long legs. <laughs> so yes, find a leotard that suits your body type. And the last one is if you have a long torso and you want to shorten it, find something that isn't really high up on your neck because that will totally lengthen it. So do not have a halter neck or those square, um, those square neck ones I'm pretty sure they're called. So definitely don't suggest those. Um, a v-neck would look beautiful or something that kind of just dips a little bit lower will really shorten your torso and of course the high leg cut as well okay so I think I have kind of said a lot about the body type the color and the type of styles you should wear in the different two audition situations so now the last thing I can say overall is to feel really comfortable in it. That's the main thing. If you are finding it really hard to choose a leotard, this really helps. So all you want to do is try on all your leotards you have, take a photo of them, maybe even do a little video, and then once you've done that, go through all of them and see which one looks the best. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it does work. Go through your little checklist if you want something more than the other. So if you want a spaghetti strap, that will knock out lots of them. And just tick your little box when you are looking at each one. So you then know which one is the perfect leotard for you. Also doing this as well will tell you if the color looks right on you as well. So if you look at it and you're like, oh, I look really washed out, obviously don't choose it. I think it's such a great way to choose the leotard for an audition. 
Alright, so those are all the tips. So now I'm just going to put on a couple of leotards for you and show them and tell you why I like them, why I don't like them. And yeah, so let's do it. And quickly, another thing. I keep on forgetting things and then I always go back. It's really annoying. Anyway, I also forgot, if you can, I definitely suggest not to wear a skirt. If you have to wear a skirt, obviously wear one. But if you have the choice to wear one or not, do not wear one because I think you should show your body and really show what it looks like when you are dancing. All right, so this first one is a capizzi leotard. And this is a leotard with a v-neck. So this one, as you can see, really opens up my chest. I do have a slightly more compact and more narrow chest, so it really opens it up, as you can see. It's also a really beautiful color. And again, I find this one ticks all the boxes. Spaghetti strap, open chest, a really beautiful low back, and a little bit of style with these straps here, as you can see. And this one also has a really nice high leg cut. And the last thing as well is that, as I said, the lines in the, in the leotard, they really accentuate my waist. So this next leotard is, in my opinion, the perfect teacher's ideal leotard for anything. This is a nice simple black leotard. It has an open chest spaghetti strap, high leg cut, and a really nice low back as well. I really adore this leotard. I wore this one in my ballet exam and I have, I think I've worn it for a competition before. So it's really the perfect leotard. You couldn't ask for anything more. And here's a little 360. And this leotard is by Capizio. So also I will link all the leotards below if they're still available. Okay, so this one I have on now, I absolutely adore this one. I love the color. This is actually a color I love to wear in an audition. But in my opinion, this one is not the perfect leotard for um, an audition or competition. The only downer to this leotard is that it has a hidden chest and it also has cap sleeves. I am pretty sure I have seen some people wear cap sleeves in a competition on stage. I think that looks nice sometimes, but not in a class audition process. I don't think that's necessary. And another thing is that it has a mesh in the middle. I find this a little bit more on a contemporary, fun, chill at class, have a nice, not really chill at class, but just a fun day at class leotard with the awesome mesh. Um, it's definitely not a traditional leotard at all, but I can say I do love the back. It's pretty cool. But again, it's not a low cut like my other ones because my other ones were picture perfect for an audition. But this still is a really nice leotard, don't get me wrong, but I just find, in my opinion, it's not the perfect one for an audition. All right, so this is my last leotard and my favorite comp leotard, audition leotard. It just ticks every box for me. One being that it has color and it brings personality, makes me stand out from everyone else. Sorry to say. <laughs> I just love it. Um, it also has a little bit of style as well at the front, so it's not too much. It doesn't have sparkles everywhere. It's nice and elegant, but still has a little twist at the front. Also has super high leg cut, I love. And the back is really nice and low and has really nice detailing on the back. So yeah, it also, has a beautiful open chest as well, which is what I love about this leotard as well. So yeah, those are all the leotards, some examples of ones I love, I still love, but don't think they're perfect for auditions. And yeah, comment below which one you like the best. <laughs> I mean, I love my mermaid leotard. So nice. And again, it's from Capizio, but I'm sorry to say, I don't think you can get this color anymore, but I think you can get this leotard in black. So. I will link that down below. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was very helpful and you now have a better understanding of what to choose for an audition. So make sure you do thumbs it up and just comment below, give me feedback on how you thought of this video. 
I'd love to also do um, just other types of videos like this. I think they're really, really great and educational for you guys because I remember when I once was very confused on what to wear for an audition. So please let me know down below if you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye! everybody. <laughs>